Welcome to Trucking with Fitz. Today we're going to haul a load from Walford, Iowa up to Austin, Minnesota. And uh, we're going to head on home after that. Uh, today I want to uh, encourage a little discussion in the comments below. Let's talk about if there is a industry in trucking that is not affected by this economic uh, recession. Comment down below and stay tuned for some trucking. Well, good morning. We're in Walford. Um, I don't know exactly where I'm supposed to check in. I think it's down here because I see the studsman. And I think this that would make sense for it to be here. Uh, but I don't know for sure. I'll check in and find out. I'm going to stop right here and find out. All right, we are headed to door 31. Close to the end down there. There's bunch of room here though so we shouldn't have any trouble getting into this door just pull straight down here right after that last GSTC trailer where we're going. I got a nice air leak right now because my glad hands didn't seal the way they should have. That's okay though. We'll get it fixed here in a second once we get close to backing into door 31. I'll see you in a second. Oh, I'm in the dock. I'm the furthest one from the end over here. Instead of nice. Not a lot going on. Wasn't too hard of a back. Fixed my air leak there. It was just the uh, glad hands were just off, you know, a little bit. The seals weren't seated uh, identical. So we got that fixed. That's good. So it's, it's never a great encouraging thing to uh, step outside your vehicle and hear a, a, a loud hissing. It's like, oh no. <laughs> what am I going to have to fix now? Uh, but no. It was simple and easy. So Let's get it loaded. Alright, we're loaded here. Got our seal on. All checked out. Uh -oh, paperwork. All done. Logbook up to date. We're ready to go. We're we're out of here. It's uh, eight twenty right now. Yeah, it's eight twenty. Got here less than an hour ago. I was not expecting it to be this quick, but I'm very grateful that it was this quick. This is what I needed. Um, three hours up there, so it should get up there at what eleven. 11.30. <clears throat> Something like that. That should give me... Hopefully they get me unloaded quick up there too. That's what we're praying for. Let's get on the road. Take you a little farther here. I was honestly expecting this place to be packed. Because it has been pretty busy when I've driven by in the past. And they sounded really strict based on what people had told me when I was trying to book loads out of here before and yeah, no nope. <laughs> simple and easy painless I like painless alright let's pull out of here and we'll get down the road
here in Austin, Minnesota. Sorry for that. Let's see what we can get to happen here. All right. In my haste, I didn't look at my bills very well. I should have talked about that earlier. This is technically from Cargill, apparently. But they let me in. We figured out where I was supposed to be coming from. And I'm going into door 12. Shouldn't be too difficult, except there's no lines. So that'll be fun. get in there that was a little difficult of a pick or a delivery there because the type of seal that it was I had never encountered before and well it was uh, I don't want to say it it was difficult we got it ripped apart enough to uh, get it, get the uh, retaining clip off. That that's the beeping is the gate, <clears throat> but we figured it out. It was just a pain, but uh, got right in and out. It was awesome. Now I'm struggling to find a load. I really wish. I would have had a little more information about this place before I delivered here, um, knowing that they would unload me so quickly. Uh, but I didn't know that because I would have. There was a load that I would have booked uh, down by Charles City, but it didn't work out. So we're gonna sit here and eat lunch. Um, looks like I'm just gonna I'm just gonna back up over there. I'm gonna do my cooking. Um, eat my lunch and then search for loads while I do that. So, pretty easy. Pretty easy. I like it. I like it. Well, we're rolling through St. Ansgar right now. Uh, we finished unloading, uh, left there at 1.45 or so. It's 2.15 right now. 2.30. Something like that. We stopped just for a second at the uh, the Casey's here in, in St. Ender and uh, back in the road. Um, struggling finding something. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna find anything for today, honestly. I don't think that's in the cards. Which is a little frustrating, but it is what it is. We're gonna going our way back to the house. Might stop one or two more times and check the load boards. Um, probably a stop in Floyd. Um, and then we'll see from there. I'll probably take 14 south, so I don't know where I'll stop then. But That's the plan. Uh, we'll be looking for stuff for Monday, too. Hopefully we can find something that we like. I'd really like to not be sitting on Monday morning. So... Uh, it's a beautiful day, though. It's a beautiful day up here in uh, central, north central Iowa. Here we go. Uh, we're in between Parkersburg and Grundy Center. Not too far from Highway 20, going south on 14. Is where we are right now. We did end up booking a load for today, which I didn't really think I was going to. Last time I talked to you. Um, we did, however, book something for Monday. We got some more forklifts going from Des Moines to North Liberty. So we'll see how that goes. North Liberty could end up being interesting. Uh, there's four of them. My guess is MH equipment again. We will see. Uh, I was able to get an even better rate than last time out of them. So not amazing, but pays the bills and accounts for all miles. Hopefully I can find something out of uh, Iowa City or Cedar Rapids on Monday. I'm sure I can. 
I should be there at an early enough time in the day that that should work out. So that's the plan. Just figure I'd jump on here and uh, update you with what I was what I was able to do, and we'll catch you in a little bit. in the right direction for Monday morning uh, yeah we got that load got it confirmate confirmed got a rate confirmation we're all set up for 70 7 30 on Monday morning in Des Moines uh, it turns out it's just right around the corner from the uh, GXO warehouse there where we picked up seed this spring just right around the corner there which is perfect um, easy to get to looks like it's not gonna be too difficult to back in now the delivery over in North Liberty that might be a little different story thankfully it's not where I thought it was it's a little farther north um, and it doesn't look like there's a lot of trucks in and out but there's lots of trailers and there's not a lot of space to back up so that could be interesting we will take you along for the ride there on Monday but for now, we're gonna finish this video out. Thanks for watching. Um, like I said at the beginning, comment down below. Tell me what you think. Is there a trucking industry that is not as affected by the uh, economic recession? Tell me what you think down in the comments below. And with that, we'll see you on the next one.